Bloomberg report that uh, Todd Bowley will step back from his day-to-day role at Woo! Chelsea. They say it's been taking up 50% of his time. He wanted to take up only 20% of his yeah. time. Uh, good move. Does this mean Chelsea are going to be 30% better? Uh, what about 0% of your time, Todd? Maybe that would be great. Maybe you should have never had any sort of involvement into the, the way the club is functioning day in and day out. Just hire a guy, which is apparently what he's, what he's about to do. Yeah. Hire a guy to do it. If you don't like the way exactly. he does it, get rid of him. Exactly. But please, don't get involved anymore. I mean, it makes a laugh. We've got plenty of great stories to tell our friends and our listeners and our viewers about you, but you haven't done great. So, you know, let's, it's time to move on, I think. Remember that guy, Roman Abramovich, Gav? Well, when sanctions uh, for the Russia-Ukraine conflict forced him to sell Chelsea for $2.5 billion to Todd Brady and his mates, he promised to give the funds to a foundation uh, for the victims of the war. And according to the Times, the money is still sitting in his account. I find this extraordinary. Come on. It's, it's, but it's not Abramovich's fault. Yeah. It's one year. There's a story in the Times by, by Martin Ziegler that explains the whole thing. This money has been sitting in his, uh, Abramovich's company is called Ford Stam. It's been sitting in, their, in his account. I don't even want to, I'm sure I could calculate how much interest that 2.5 billion earned in one year of just sitting there yeah, in yeah. this account. Um, they, the government hired a guy from UNICEF to run this foundation. They had to jump through all sorts of legal hoops and whatever else. Now they're saying, oh, finally, hopefully next week we can we can get the money across to the foundation. But think of the waste. Think of this money is yeah. going to go to good to, to, a, to a good purpose, right? To help rebuild Ukraine, to to, to provide assistance to people who've been displaced, refugees, and so on. Think of the absolute waste. The guy said, look. You know, we've had three different governments here in the UK, three different prime ministers. Um, it's been slow going. And this is, you know, my feelings on lawyers and yeah. the law and legal proceedings. I do. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. When you wrote the freaking rules, when you forced this man to sell his club, rightly so, with the sanctions, whatever, you could have put in whatever the rules were to make sure that this money went to a good cause quickly when it was most needed. Yeah. And instead... You couldn't do it because you were messing around with stupid political nonsense. Um, I, I, I don't know what to say. I just hope eventually it's put to good use. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.